my beautiful lovelies, it's Emmy and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Simple Health, which makes birth control affordable, accessible, and convenient. So Simple Health works really simply, not surprisingly. You go online and you fill out an online health form which is then reviewed by a physician to see if birth control is a good fit for you. Recommendations will be made and the prescription will be written and the birth control will come right to your doorstep. There's no need to go to the doctor's office. There's no need to wait in line at the pharmacy. It will come straight to your doorstep, which is so practical and convenient. Simple Health would have been such a great tool for me as a recent college graduate. I didn't know necessarily where I was going to be and to have my birth control come to the address that I specify would have been so great and I wouldn't have have to worry about any lapses in my prescription. Simple Health is not a replacement for routine checkups with your doctor. If you'd like to receive the latest news on women's reproductive health, be sure to follow Simple Health on Instagram. So I support Simple Health because I think it's important for people to have the tools to make choices that could affect the rest of their lives. If you'd like to try Simple Health out for free, click the link down below or head over to simplehealth.com slash Emmy or use the code Emmy at checkout. So big thanks to Simple Health for their continued support and for sponsoring this video. Now today I'm going to be making a recipe from The Vulgar Chef and it is for ranch flavored gummy bears. Ranch flavored gummy bears. Let that sink in for a minute. Ranch, you know, that white saucy stuff that everyone loves to dip their crudite or their carrot sticks in. That stuff, I'm talking about that stuff. And I'm talking about gummy bears and making a savory version of gummy bears. Sounds interesting, right? Because I've never had a savory version of a gummy bear, ever. And I've always wanted to make gummy bears way, 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 way back. Back when homemade gummy bears was a thing. I think that's probably about six or seven years ago now. I remember when the King of Random made gummy Legos and I said, yes. Step back a little bit. Actually, a few years ago, I did make homemade Sour Patch Kids, which is kind of like a gummy, but I've never used a gummy bear mold or anything. So of course I had to get my mitts on a gummy mold and I picked up this one right here. So I was thinking I might need a little bit of insurance for this particular recipe, because what if these gummy snacks don't taste good? I mean, I've made plenty of things that don't taste good, but here's another ranch themed snack that I've always wanted to make, but never did. So we'll just put it all together. We'll make it a two for one video today. So let me, let me, the rest other, the other recipe I wanna make comes out of this book. It's from the backs, back of the box gourmet. I've made other recipes from this, but these are all recipes that are on the back of boxes of famous things like mock apple pie, which I've made, by the way. I will put the link down below. What other things? No-bake chocolate cheesecake, which was on the back of the Hershey's semi-sweet chocolate chips. Lipton onion burger sandwich on the back of the you know, Lipton soup thingies. This is the Hidden Valley Ranch oyster crackers. So while my gummy bears are setting up, I'm gonna make a batch of crackers too, because I think those are gonna be stinking delicious. So if these don't turn out, at least I'll have crackers. Okay, let's make the gummy snacks first. So the first thing we need to do is bloom our gelatin. Basically, blooming means to rehydrate the gelatin. I'm using two packets of Nox unflavored plain gelatin. So we're just gonna take one third of a cup of milk. The Vulgar Shop uses a dry measuring cup, so that's what I'm gonna use. Two packets of gelatin. I'm gonna sprinkle that right over the top. One. Too. Kind of a cool thing happens when we have gelatin blooming. It kind of gets all wrinkly and shriveled up and it looks kind of brain-like, kind of like the surface of like brain coral or something. It's kind of great. So this is gonna take about five minutes, so I'm gonna let it do its thing and I'll be right back. So out of convenience, I'm using my little Itaki Shibuki pot here. You could definitely use a saucepan and do this right over the stove. Easy peasy. Or even in a microwave-safe dish and just nuke this. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so while we're waiting for the gelatin to bloom in the milk, why don't we prep our crackers? You're gonna need a bag of oyster crackers. Now these are just like saltines, very plain crackers seasoned with a bit of salt, and they're delicious and actually, I think, pretty essential to clam chowder. So you can find them everywhere here in New England. 
not surprisingly. So we're gonna need one bag of oyster crackers. The recipe calls for a 12 or 16 ounce bag. I have a nine ounce bag, so I'm gonna scale back the recipe just a little bit. I have noticed just the other day, we bought graham crackers for s'mores and my crackers were significantly smaller. Have you noticed this? I'm not a huge graham cracker eater, but I noticed that when I snapped the crackers in half, they didn't make squares, they were rectangles. I remember taking graham crackers. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I already talked about this in my story. I apologize for being redundant, but I really feel like this needs to be shared. So the box looks the same in terms of packaging size, but when you open it, there is a gap between the stack of crackers and the side walls of the box. So the crackers are significantly smaller. And my theory is that they keep the prices the same, but you're getting fewer, less amount of cracker. I don't know, I've also noticed this on animal crackers as well. They're smaller. I know that I've grown since I was, you know, five when I was eating animal crackers, but they're definitely smaller than they used to be. Okay, so I think that's what's happening here with the oyster crackers. This book was written several years ago back when oyster crackers were in 12 or 16 ounce bags rather than nine ounce. Okay, enough of that. Dump them in. Two thirds of a cup of oil. Okay, oil. So we're gonna add one package of Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning. Dump that in. Do you know the third ingredient listed on Hidden Valley Ranch is monosodium glutamate, known as MSG, which makes everything taste more delicious? The more you know. Deliciousness. That's why it's so delicious. I'm telling you, MSG. Hmm. I am not a huge consumer of ranch dressing, but when it's around, I like it. Quarter teaspoon lemon pepper. Dill. Always reminds me of pickles. Dill. Half teaspoon of dill weed. I like how they call it dill weed. Boom, garlic powder. Boom, boom. Gonna mixy, mixy that all up. Now, we're gonna pour all this deliciousness right on top of these. Oh boy. Get all of that in there. Now we're gonna toss to coat. This is like a bath. It's actually kind of pooling at the bottom here. Okay, I'm gonna have one straight up because I can't handle this. Oh yeah, they're gonna be good. <laughs> hey, come back here. Okay, get all of that in there. You will not escape. Now it says to bake these in a warm oven, which I guess is probably less than 200 degrees, 200 degrees. Guess whatever is the lowest temperature on your oven. I'm gonna be using my handy dandy toaster oven. Put them in a single layer. Oh. Spread that around. Now, place these in a warm oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Mm. Do, 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 do. Our gelatin is pretty much all firmed up. There's still some dry gelatin on top. So I'm gonna use this and kind of stir this up to get all that gelatin in contact with the water. I'm gonna close my window now because there's a neighbor vacuuming and it's kind of annoying. <laughs> Can't go that way. Oh, I was smelling crackers. <laughs> Check on your crackers, cause they're gonna toast like lickety splitness. Whenever you smell anything toasting, it's probably toasting. So those look amazing. So I went ahead and turned off my toaster oven because it was getting a little bit too frisky. Now we're gonna make the gummy bears. Heat this up. Oh, see, it's already beginning to melt. And we want to heat this fully so that all the gelatin melts entirely. Oh, that's happening quickly. Nice. I'm going to go in with my silicone scraper. Try to work out any lumpage here. Technical term, lumpage. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna add one packet of ranch dressing. Okay, that's looking a lot like ranch. Use some vegetable oil and give it a little bit of a boiling here. My little gummy maker came with this eyedropper. I'm gonna use that to 
suck some of this up. Nice. Eyedropper of ranch gelatin. So get some bears in there. Don't forget the lions. Let's get some monkeys too. Let's make some penguins too. Boop, 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 boop. And let us not forget the gummy worm. So one batch of that mixture is enough to make one tray of gummies. So I'm gonna place this in the refrigerator. So let's snack on our warm crackers, shall we? Look, those look beautiful. Tin Valley Ranch oyster crackers. Eat the lucky moss. Pretty tasty. Mm-hmm. They could be ranchier though, honestly. The addition of the oil makes them extra crispy. They're kind of light and airy and fluffy without tasting greasy or feeling greasy. So the recipe measurements include kind of a range of measurements. So I erred on the side of the lesser amounts because my bag of crackers was smaller. I would say if you make this, go full on and do the large amounts, even for the nine ounce bag of crackers, because I think these could use even more seasoning. They're pretty good. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm gonna add some leftover ranchy powder and put that right on top. Now we have a more intense buttermilk ranch flavor to them. Mm -hmm. And it kind of coats your fingers so you get that kind of Cheeto Dorito experience because you, know, you get the powdery stuff. Yeah, that's what you do, people. Okay, delicious. How many have I eaten now? Like 20? Okay, girl needs to stop. <laughs> it has been over an hour now since I put the gummies in the refrigerator and they should now be set. Let's go grab them. Oh yes. Oh yes, look at this. Silicone molds, man. I'm just gonna push them out. Boom, so easy and so satisfying. And look at the detail. Oh, you gotta see this. Boom. 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 And look how detailed. Oh my gosh, the monkeys are so cute. Yep, penguin's cute. Oh yeah, look at the gummy worm. Doing, 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 doing. Ranch flavored homemade gummies. Eat the Rocky Moss. Hmm. Wow. Those are strong. They have kind of a different texture than gummies though. They're bouncy. And I don't taste any of the gelatin though, that's a bit of an aside, but. They are full of ranch flavor. They're actually very intensely flavored, pretty salty. Nice kind of buttermilk tang to them. The texture is a little bit different than a regular gummy bear too. They're not quite as soft. They're bouncy and chewy, but they don't have that kind of slightly tenderness and like elasticity. I think that's what's really missing. There's not kind of a stretch. There's a bounce, like a rubber band bounce, but there's not this kind of nice little bouncy stretch to them. It's more just like ding, 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 rather than the eh. I've read in another recipe that sorbitol is what they put in regular gummy bears to give them that chewy softness. I think that's probably what these need. So final thoughts, are these good? Yeah. They're fine. If you are a total ranch nut, you will love these because they just taste like ranch dressing, but they're in the shape of, of gummy animals. I think it's something about that combination of gummy texture and that challenge to your expectations of what gummy should be that makes this kind of an unpleasant experience. It's not disgusting. It's just terribly unexpected. 
Alrighty, so there you have it. Ranch flavored gummies and ranch flavored oyster crackers. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Big, big thanks to Simple Health for sponsoring me this video. If you'd like to try Simple Health out for free, click the link down below or head over to simplehealth.com slash Emmy or use the code Emmy at checkout. Please share this video with your friends, follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye.